In this video I'm going to create a .NET Core console application that runs on both a Windows 10 system and a Raspberry Pi Linux system. The app will be platform agnostic and will share a common code base. In other words, the app will run on both systems without the need to amend the code. So let's get started. You can use Visual Studio for this. Create a .NET Core console app. I'm just going to remove this line. Uh, the purpose of the application will be to just show some system information. Um, the date time, the operating system and the processor count. So I'll just run this, see if it works in Windows 10. Okay, so system date, operating system, and processor count. Uh, the operating system here, Microsoft Windows NT, that's a code for Windows 10. So it might be a bit confusing, but that's the actual code name for Windows 10. Okay, so I'm going to change to release, open up uh, Solution Explorer, and I'm going to publish. And I'm going to publish to a folder. So I'll just choose the default folder. Release any CPU, target framework.NET Core 3.1, framework dependent and portable. So we can save that. And then we'll go ahead and publish. So that one succeeded. So if we go into the folder, going to release publish folder. So see the executable. So again, I'll run this in Windows 10. Yep, so that's working. Now, for the Raspberry Pi, all we need to do is get the DLL and the runtime config.json file. Right click and copy. I've got a remote desktop session open to my Raspberry Pi. I'll create a new folder called my sysinfo. Double click that, right click and paste. That 
pastes in the DLL and the runtime config.json file. Go to Tools and open the current folder in Terminal. So, what I want to do now is type in .NET. And then the name of the DLL. So that's my sys info.dll. Okay. So system date, operating system being Unix, and processor count. Uh, just a word of warning the DLL file name is case sensitive, so if I clear that. Do the same command, but just do it in lowercase. Doesn't work, so it needs to be so it's case sensitive. Okay, thanks for watching the video. Just just a quick one to uh, show you how to create a platform agnostic .NET console application. If you have any comments or questions, please leave them in the video.